Hey friends, it's Jeremy Gilchrist. I am in Aruba right now. And I try to, uh, I love metaphors, I think everyone knows that, but I try to look at things in life and learn something from them. And when I come out to this balcony and I look at, you know, there's a building over here, there's cars, there's a building, there's a pool, and there's an ocean. That's all this is. But it's like, how can something look so beautiful when it's just four or five simple things that you can access pretty much anywhere, you know, water, buildings, etc. Well, really, I wanted to roll off that by saying, that's how simple life is to me and what I've learned. You know, you don't need to see the beauty of things and, and un or, or, or see the beauty of, say, this by reading books and going through self-help stuff and attending seminars and everything else. Life is very simple in, in, in how you can see it. If you just understand that it's as simple as, as what you think, you know, when you see it, like a palm tree, right? I talked about it yesterday. It's like a palm tree can change your entire mood. You can be in the worst mood in the world and see a palm tree and just go, <laughs> right? Well, to me, when you recognize you have the power to look at something that makes you happy and that can take away a negative mood, well then get to work. So here's what I mean. Um, picture, uh, uh, picture a jar full of marbles, right? And say whatever color, uh, the negative marble is, is maybe, um, say it's uh, purple, right? So the jar is full of purple marbles, and those are all your negative thoughts. You know, your complaints, your money issues, your, your bad relationships, you know, I've got it, I've got, you know, uh, uh, the crappy life, just everything, those are all negative thoughts, the purple marbles, right? But then over here is a green one, and the green marble is that palm tree, and when you see that, you go, oh, nice, right? Well, take one of these thoughts, one of your negative thoughts, you have to recognize that it's there, and decide to replace it with a different colored marble, whatever that pretty marble is or that thing that makes you happy. And recognize that you're gonna replace it and change it and understand that you just can't take, here's the end result. You gotta take it marble by marble in your life and slowly replace these thoughts with new thoughts and happiness, right? And when you do that, you have to take your time because first off, don't try to rush it like I used to do and go, hey, I'm just gonna take them, all these marbles and throw them all out by not recognizing them, that's the easiest way. I'm not gonna recognize I have these issues. I'm gonna throw them all out of my memory and bring in all these good ones and they're still there, right? It's impossible to do that. So they have to be one by one, do that. And over time, when your positive marbles, if you wanna call it that, have now been replaced and outweigh the negatives, it's inevitable and it's psychology that your brain is gonna be more positive than negative. Now you're on the right track. Now you're feeling good. So my point is this. You know, you can have this Aruba in your backyard if you really want to. It just depends on how, how you replace these things and how you look at it. So I wanted to tell you that story because I learned over the last three or four years that that's how I got to where I am and I'm still, I still have a long way to go, but it's replace those marbles, control your thoughts, you can control your life, right? So decide what your marbles are and get to work. Have fun with it. So if you enjoyed this, click like. If there's people you know in your groups or in life or your family or your friends that might need to hear this, you know, from a simple perspective, then, you know, share it with them. And maybe comment on this video and tell me certain situations where you took control and you replaced those marbles. Or go out there and hold yourself accountable and tell all the viewers, you know, and my friends too and me, and hold each other accountable by saying, here's the bad marbles I have, I have to replace them because I'll urge you and I'll try to help out. And, and give you a couple marbles if I can, right? So thanks for watching. I, I hope you have a great day. And honestly, I'm gonna go out and find some more marbles that are everywhere. Thanks.